An effort to commission the USS Beloit set sail with a local team at the helm. WIFR reporter Bria Walter speaks to commission members about this new campaign. We have quite a uh, quite an impact that we want to make on the citizens of Beloit, the, the state line area. A huge honor. That's what Beloit leaders call having a U.S. Navy ship named after their city. It will be the fourth naval ship bearing the name of a Wisconsin community. This is this is amazing opportunity for Beloit, and uh, there's cities all across our nation that lobby hard to get a ship named after them, and Beloit's got one. The Beloit Commissioning Committee, made of representatives from various organizations, launched its campaign Tuesday. Mark Finnegan says the fundraising is crucial. Money collected will support future crews of the USS Beloit. You, you need to show what people are supporting, and like we've done for 15 plus years now with Vets Roll right here in the community, people can see the results of what they're supporting. It's going to be the same thing, but on more of a national scale with the, the commissioning of the Beloit. The USS Beloit is the only Wisconsin ship with parts made in the city it's named after. For instance, the engine will be made by Fairbanks Morse. The goal is to complete the ship by next year, followed by a major celebration and commissioning ceremony. The sponsor, usually, uh, in this case General Anderson, will step to the mic and say, now it's time to man our ship and bring her alive. And, you know, she'll say it with, you know, vigor like that, I'm sure. And then the band starts playing and all the sailors literally run aboard the ship. In Beloit, Bria Walters, WIFR News. That'll be so neat to see. And the public can make donations on the USS Beloit website. Can't wait for that. The event is going to be amazing, especially if they get a lot of money raised for that. Absolutely. Another one of the great things to look forward to in and around the state line for sure.